Hey you guys, it's Clary Berry. I'm here with the November 1st, 2nd, and 3rd horoscope for Leo. So I hope you guys are doing well. This is going to be the Taurus moon still for the first. Okay, and then we have Gemini moon. So I do want to talk about this kind of as a whole um, first, just the, all of the four days, because there's just a lot of similarities, a lot of underlying things going on. So again, Taurus moon, um, kind of about that security and then we move into the Gemini moon. So especially in this time, you know, restlessness, curiosity, you know, definitely lots of communication, discussion, um, being social in ways. And in, it's all about this information, trying to get, get more information. Um, obviously, we have, um, I'm not even going to talk about Mercury retrograde yet, but we do have Mercury opposite Mars, okay? So, you know, we have, there's like, it's like it's our philosophy, you know, and our our wisdom, you know, what, we, what we're truly like contemplating as far as, I mean, life in general, what we want to do, everything. We, we have very strong, you know, outspoken opinions, okay? But this can be a lot of nervous energy, especially when we're in Libra, um, Mercury, because we have, you know, that, that urge to get along with people right now, you know, and we've been talking about this for a while, um, just with every, with, with the way things have been going on, but people can get kind of, you know, hypersensitive, jumping to conclusions, taking things personally at this time. So watch out for that. Okay. Um, you know, we know it makes us very sharp and driven. Um, but there's always, you know, that calm and grounded way to, to say things, you know, and to get our points across, not letting that Mars and Aries energy take over and get us off course saying things we didn't need to say. It's like having that really basic simple boiling things down to a basic and simple almost like a meme you know it's like arguing with humor rather than you know trying to have these outspoken you know rude like vent posts you know what I mean like that's the energy and it, obviously this is not just about social media this is just an example of the way the energy is coming across okay so we also have um and this mar this mercury opposite mars is for the all four all four days and so are our two cardinal T squares that we have with Mercury, Mars, and then the first one is Jupiter and Capricorn, and the second one is Pluto and Capricorn. Okay, so the cardinal T square, you know, again, we have so much changing. Again, so much is just growing. People are coming into a lot of new habits, a lot of new ways of, you know, again, spending money, uh, saving money. Um, just anything, anything having to do with our habits and what we do with our money and how we make our money and all of this, all of this idea. Okay. So a lot of, you know, there's a lot of social, um, graces. There's a lot of, you know, people trying to stay, um, positive and out of, you know, like out of these arguments, um, because they, they want, they have a, a persona, you know, to upkeep, but then you have to find that balance between, that Mars energy and that Mercury energy. Again, we've got to balance it out. We've got, we can't just be fake, you know? It's like, we have to be real. And it's like, we have to really look at ourselves and what we're trying to create, what we're trying to do and make sure that it's ethical, make sure that it's positive, okay? We want to have the, you know, the, the law of pure attention has to be on our side, Okay. Being very careful. Okay. This is that Capricorn energy of Pluto step by step. You know, we're starting something big here. So we're being very careful with, and very intentional with everything. You know, it reminds me of like Kim Kardashian trying to start all these businesses and she goes so fast in her life and she just rah, 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 that she doesn't stop and think about things like, Oh, you know, starting a business, a you know, called kimono or, you know, doing things that, might be deemed as insensitive. This is like, no, right now, you know, we're cautious. If we're going to start this new, this new project, we're going to make damn sure that it's exactly what we want to do. Because again, if we're going to ruffle, if we're going to make, make waves out there, again, we want to make sure that we can back it up. 
So there's this readjustment, this reinventing ourselves energy that's coming through right now, which is just fabulous. And it is very necessary, okay? Especially in the broader scheme of things where we're all changing, we're all growing, we're all, you know, headed towards just a better life, you know, getting this chaos sorted out and placed into a new order, you know, and financially, obviously we've been talking about that Neptune, it's going to be uh, in Taurus for a few, for a few more years, you know, 2025, 20, I think is the ending year. So in this time, there's going to be a lot more of these changes, you know, when it comes to the, our businesses, our are again the way we make money what we're doing so if you have this big project again get grounded you know be very intentional about it and like the philosophy behind what you're doing again so important okay so stay connected because it'll help you know go within don't be afraid to again reinvent yourself let go of these old ways that you had to, you know, maybe people please, maybe just in your, you know, trying to put off a certain image. Why? Why do we want that? You know, is it really us? We reserve the right to change our minds. It's okay. And it's, it's in fact, it's necessary. You know, it's, it's so important in life. Um, that's, that's how we grow in life and not just live, not just survive. You know, that's how we really thrive. So of course, you know, being the leader, being a very, you know, very potent leader, um, that Leos are, you know, this is really speaking again to what you're creating, what you're starting now, you're starting something big, you know, whether you even know it or not, but I think it's going to be like, you're going to be awakening and deepening your understanding of what you're doing. And it's like kind of, again, ground into, I think it's going to keep you grounded again to have, you know, this, this newer, you know, purpose and passion and whatever you're, you're creating here and whatever you're creating is going to reflect who you are on the inside. So again, it's kind of looking at that spirituality, doing that shadow work, getting grounded, um, and really, you know, yeah, shadow work, I'll, you know, majorly here, check out my program and my playlist down in the description box below. You can find out how to get personal readings and everything. So yeah, it's like, it's almost like be careful of what you're going to create because you are going to create something big and you want to make it good. You are going to have, you know, this platform you are like Leo's are such, are such leaders, especially the ones that come here. I feel like, um, and, and watch these videos. Okay, so we got the sorceress popping off the day after Halloween. Love that. Okay, this is actually, we're going to go into um, this. Okay, so the second, the third, and the fourth. Again, we have that Gemini moon, a little bit um, restless. You know, we're all passionate. We're all trying to figure out. We're all trying to forecast what's going to happen. Um, but you want to kind of zone into... I think a lot of this trine energy, we have the sun trine Neptune. So again, this spiritual um, imagination. Um, yes, we all have like our ideals, but um, there's just not going to be a lot of, a lot, you know, of negative stuff going on. You know, um, we could be very powerful here, but with the sun trine the Neptune again, we kind of have this compassionate energy, I think that is, again, kind of taming, you know, that Mars, all that Mars energy that we have. We even have Mars in a sextile here. Okay. So we do have powerful emotions and it is important not to bottle them up. Okay. That is very important. But, um, with the moon sextile Mars, you know, these emotional, these emotions are kind of they're, they're doing okay with the, with your, with your impulses and just like with what you just end up doing like, it's okay. You know, they work together. We've got moon trying Mercury, the head and the heart is vibing right now. We can learn a lot from our emotions right now. And then the, the fact is they're paying attention to each other. You know, our emotions in our mind are, are working together here. So this is a lot of good energy. I mean, the moon also, I mean, there's a lot of moon energy. So there's a lot of emotions, you know, that can be coming through here. Moon trying Venus, moon sextile Mars, and moon trying Mercury. But, you know, this is that, you know, 
calm before the storm a little bit. Be um, again, if you're not bottling up your your impulses, you're having like a release. You're having a good release is important, and also shadow work. I think it's very important for when we judge people. We can turn it around on ourselves, keep ourselves in check, flip the switch, check out the description box below again. So um, on the third, we're coming through into the end of Mercury retrograde while it's squaring Saturn. Okay. Again, all of this information, you know, communication, all of this social, uh, you know, network stuff, All it's all going to be crazy. It's going to be um it's, I think it's going to be a delay, you know, I think it's going to be a long delay and for ourselves, you know, it's like we are, there might be, it's negotiation, you know, in our partnerships, it's getting really, really deep into, you know, this interpersonal, you know, again, also communication within ourselves and the messages that we tell ourselves, the messages that we give ourselves, the wheel of fortune here, there's a lot up for grabs. There's a lot, you know, that we can, I think you can take this to a deep level if you want to, um, because there's a lot that we can learn again about communication, about learning itself, about, um, learning communication and you know, that affects your relationships as well. So it's like, we're kind of, we're kind of over the, again, kind of we're refining our overreactions, um, you know, sometimes we make these sweeping statements and we have to go back and refine them, refine our beliefs as well, happening to a lot of people. Again, a lot of realizations. So it's like there's this kind of temptation, you know, to still stay in denial for a lot of people on a lot of things. Um, so going within too and doing the shadow work will help you to kind of awaken to some of those ways, you know, that you might be doing that. Okay. And a lot of people are going through that same thing right now. Okay. So what else do we have? Um, again, these T squares that we have Mercury, Mars, Jupiter, Capricorn, and Pluto Capricorn. There is, you know, of course that Mars energy is still trying to come through, um, really, you know, strong, really forceful, you know, really aggressive and competitive and, you know, this is the right way. But again, remember, put your ethics above all else right now. It's put, you know, those higher philosophies that we hold dear, make sure you're sticking to them and paying attention to them as you're trying to get your message across. Um, it's just important. Okay. That it's flawless. Okay. It's like, especially when you're in, I keep on like thinking here that, you know, like somebody's in the public eye and they have to be, you know, they have to be totally ethical or they're going to be torn apart, you know, in the media or whatever, like that keeps coming across, but it's also, it's like boil that down to your personal life. And you know, if you, it's integrity is what it is. It's if you had that camera, you know, that, that tell all camera, you know, following you around every day, how would you act differently? And integrity is doing that no matter what. Okay. And that's a, that's a really, when it comes down to it, that's a deeper relationship with you and you know, your higher power. Okay. And it's going to take you to new levels of what you're creating, what you're putting out there. Okay. And again, if you have to kind of alter old things to move into new, new avenues, then that's, you know, that is perfectly fine. And that is what we should be doing. There, there might be taking a risk in some of this change. Okay. But it's like, you have to, you almost have to. Okay. So don't forget to check out the personal reading, you know, the, the personal planets, the reading for your personal planets, um, check out all of those and you can cross watch for your people as well. So thanks for being here. Thanks for likes, shares, comments, subscribes, etc. And I'll talk to you guys real soon. Bye.